Hey crew, this is Saul Castañeda with MCSC DIY Works and Green Wheels Automotive in Chicago. I'm going to change out the uh, master and booster. Hey, what's going on, Jaja? caliper setup is a little bit better because these tend to fail a lot internally from here. We need these locks out or we got new locks? Uh, just hold on to them for right now. So, yeah. Yep. Good thing we're not using this anymore. What, bro? No more of these uh, cylinders. Yeah, the bush is just like bills of where they used to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the factory. Yeah, they rebuilt this whole front end. Look how nice these plates are. Yeah, the plates are good. The, uh, the screws are, are very well. They're brand new. They're brand new. They said dust and off. A space or what? I'm saying. It says without seal and with seal. Nice. Yep. And you just kind of walk it through. Awesome. Come on. Okay. That's it. She's on. I've done it for a long time. Let's say. Yeah. yeah. Let's say you're just a person that. Oops. I dropped the key in there. Drops. You put it on your rear seal, right, bro? The the oil seal in the back that sits on the, the little seat. guy. So that's good. New hardware, new new uh, equipment. I mean, this is a good kit. When it says the three o'clock position, so.
this fillet, you just want to get as much grease as you can inside the bearings because you don't want to. So now, and then you got to make sure that see that that bottom clip has to hit down here in that groove, and one of those old guys is gonna catch that pen. So that just makes sure that it's not gonna walk around down here and loosen up on you. The, the torque was 60. Though? For the front, not this, not the back one, only for the front. Right for the front. That's boom. That's there's a pin inside. Yeah. Bearings are in. This is just gonna secure it. We're gonna put it down to 60 foot pounds. You gotta get these little guys to line up in their prep. There we go. Problems right here, right in there. We're just gonna take off a little bit off the off the housing. I mean, it's there, but we gotta give it about an eighth of an inch of clearance for moving and rocking. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just grind it down a little bit. So, cool, cool. That's all we need to do. We're almost done. Now with this pins, I have to grease just two points um, because their setup's a little different. With other brake setups, you have to grease the hole pin, but this pin only makes contact here with a seal and over here with another seal. So if I greased the hole pin, it'd be like a waste. So I'll show you what I mean. So you see I only greased here and here because there's a seal here, which is where the end of the pin touches, and then there's a seal on the front side.
this this piece that has that little dip, I will just face it out. It says on the thing it's got to go to the bottom. Here. bracket and new master cylinder with proportioning valve setup. So we're gonna run some new brake lines and then we'll continue with the bleed. So this is uh, the next one coming up. 